Have you ever pondered the possibility of a world where World War I never transpired? Imagine a turn of events where Archduke Franz Ferdinand escaped his fate, the spark that ignited the Great War extinguished. This was a conflict that forever shaped the globe, influencing political, social, and economic landscapes. Yet, what if it had been avoided? What could the 20th century have looked like? Join us as we embark on a journey through time exploring an alternate 20th century. June 28, 1914. A day that could have been just another day in history. In the heart of Europe, in the city of Sarajevo, Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria, heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, was scheduled to visit. His journey was one of peace, a diplomatic mission with his beloved wife Sophie by his side. In the world as we know it this day marked the spark that ignited the First World War. But what if that spark never caught flame? Picture this alternate timeline. The city is buzzing with anticipation. The royal couple's motorcade weaves through the streets of Sarajevo, and the day unfolds without a hitch. No young revolutionary, no fateful gunshot, no assassination. The heir to the throne and his wife return safely, their mission a success. In our alternate timeline, June 28th passes without incident, setting the stage for a drastically different 20th century. Without the catalyst of Franz Ferdinand's assassination, the world remained at peace. A tranquil Europe, unmarred by the horrors of World War I, stands as a beacon of harmony. The major powers of Europe, particularly the Central Powers and the Allies, do not descend into the trenches of war, instead they focus on diplomacy and the pursuit of shared interests. Imagine a world where Germany, Austria-Hungary and the Ottoman Empire, the Central Powers, continued to grow in strength and influence but without the need for military aggression. Germany, not burdened by the crippling Treaty of Versailles, rises as an economic powerhouse, leading the way in industry and innovation. Austria-Hungary, free from the internal strife caused by the war, maintains its dual monarchy, continuing to serve as a multicultural hub of Central Europe. On the other side the Allies, primarily France, the United Kingdom and Russia, also flourish in this world at peace. France, without the devastation of the Western Front, continues its role as a cultural and intellectual center of Europe. The United Kingdom, without the need to pour resources into a costly war, sees its empire expand and prosper. Russia, though still grappling with internal issues, avoids the extreme militarization and loss of life brought about by the war. In this peaceful world, political and social changes are driven not by conflict, but by cooperation and shared progress. The League of Nations, originally established in response to the war, might still come to be, but as a platform for fostering global unity rather than managing conflict. Women's suffrage movements, initially bolstered by women's wartime contributions, may face a slower path to success, but the fight for equality presses on. Yet this world without World War I is not a utopia. Tensions still simmer beneath the surface, economic disparities persist, and the struggle for power is an ever-present game. The absence of war does not erase the challenges and complexities of the early 20th century. It merely reshapes them, and sets the world on a different, perhaps less bloody, path. This peace, however, does not mean the world stands still. While Europe enjoys peace, Russia still faces internal turmoil. Even without the catalyst of a world war, Russia was a powder keg ready to explode in the early 20th century. The country was riddled with social and economic problems, and the autocratic rule of the Tsar was increasingly unpopular. The seeds of revolution were already sown. Without the devastation and disillusionment caused by World War I, the Russian Revolution might have taken a different course, but it's likely it would have happened nonetheless. The Bolsheviks led by Lenin were already gaining traction, and the widespread dissatisfaction with the Tsar's rule provided fertile ground for their revolutionary ideas. In this alternate history, perhaps the revolution would have been less bloody, less extreme. Perhaps Russia would have transitioned to a more moderate form of socialism, avoiding the brutal dictatorship of Stalin. But one thing is certain. Russia would have emerged as a major global power, regardless of the path it took. This could have led to a different kind of Cold War. Without the shared experience of World War II, the ideological divide between the capitalist West and the socialist East might have been even more pronounced. The arms race, the space race, the battle for hearts and minds, all could have played out in different, perhaps even more dangerous ways. And what about World War II? Would it have happened at all? Without the harsh terms of the Treaty of Versailles, there might have been no rise of Hitler, no Nazi Germany, but conflicts could still have erupted elsewhere. 
Perhaps Japan's imperial ambitions would have sparked a war in the Pacific. Or maybe the ideological clash between capitalism and socialism would have led to a global conflict of a different kind. Meanwhile, in the absence of the Great War, the United States continues its rise to power. As Europe enjoys peace, and Russia navigates its own revolution, America is free to grow and strengthen, quietly becoming the world's foremost superpower. But that's a story for the next scene. The United States, unscathed by the devastation of a global conflict, emerges as a superpower. Imagine a world where the United States, having remained untouched by the horrors of World War I, was able to continue its upward trajectory without interruption. The early 20th century was a time of rapid growth and expansion for the United States. Factories were humming, cities were expanding, and the economy was booming. Without the need to commit resources and manpower to a distant war, this growth could have continued unabated. The United States was already positioning itself as a global player, with its influence reaching beyond its own borders. It had established itself as a beacon of democracy and freedom, drawing immigrants from around the world. Its economic power was undeniable, and without the drain of a global conflict, it could have grown even stronger. But what would this mean for global politics? With no world war to shift the balance of power, the United States could have stepped into the role of global leader much earlier. Its democratic ideals could have spread further, influencing more nations and shaping a very different world order. It's also worth considering the military implications. Without the need to build a large wartime army, the United States might have avoided becoming the military superpower it is today. Instead, it could have focused its resources on domestic growth and international diplomacy. And what about the cultural impact? The Roaring Twenties, a time of cultural and social liberation in the United States, might have roared even louder without the shadow of a war. The United States could have become an even greater melting pot of cultures, ideas, and innovations, influencing the world not just politically and economically, but culturally as well. In this alternate history, the United States rises not from the ashes of a world war, but from its own strength and potential. Its influence, both tangible and intangible, would have been felt around the world, shaping the 20th century in a whole new way. As we have seen, a world without World War I is a drastically different place. In this alternate 20th century, the world as we know it is unrecognizable. Let's take a moment to walk through the profound shifts we've explored, the world that could have been. Firstly, imagine a world where the Great War, the war to end all wars, never happened. No trenches snaking their way across Europe, no mustard gas choking the life out of young men, no loss of an entire generation. The global political landscape would have remained fundamentally different. Empires that crumbled in the wake of World War I, like the Ottoman and Austro-Hungarian, might have persisted. The map of Europe and the Middle East, drawn and redrawn in blood, could have looked entirely different. Our journey through this alternate history took us through a different Russian revolution, a revolution perhaps not born out of the desperation of war but from the inherent tensions within the Russian society itself. Would the Bolsheviks have still come to power or could a different faction have prevailed? And without the ideological battleground of the Cold War, how would global politics have played out? We then crossed the Atlantic to a United States unscathed by the horrors of war. A nation that didn't need to rise from the ashes but instead continued its ascent unabated. With no war to fuel its industrial machine, would the United States still have emerged as the global superpower we know today? Or would it have taken a different path, its destiny shaped by different forces and challenges? The implications of these changes on 20th century history and the world today are immense. The dominoes that fell in our reality, setting off a chain reaction of events leading to World War II, the Cold War, the rise of totalitarian regimes, the decolonization of Africa and Asia, and so much more, would have been arranged differently. The world we live in today, the nations we know, the ideologies we hold, all could have been fundamentally different. And so, we leave you with this thought. History is a complex tapestry where a single thread can change the entire picture. Imagine what could have been and appreciate what is. For while history is full of what-ifs, it is the reality we have that shapes us, that defines us. And that in itself, is a story worth telling.